Uh, you know, Mother's Day, we just had it a couple of days ago, but really we, we celebrate moms all year long, but especially the month of May. Exactly. Deandra, uh, Deandrea Bevan with uh, Indie Moms Blog is with us here today. She, mm -hmm. she wrote a recent blog that I find really interesting mm -hmm. because when we become moms, right. it changes our relationship with our own mothers because you start asking them these questions right. that you may have never even thought to ask before and you take your relationship to a whole nother level. Right. You had that conversation with your mom. Talk I about did. some of the things you learned. So basically the option to have the conversation with my mother didn't come until I had children and so yeah. the conversation was great because my mother was willing to be more open with me. She right. was very transparent with me. She was willing to share things with me so that I was like learning from mm -hmm. her. It was never a conversation where she was like, you need to do this, you need to do that. Right. It was a conversation where she was like, D, you know, this is how I felt, so I get how yeah. you feel, so yeah. it's nice. And to your point, I mean, and moms at home, you know, if your mother told you, before you were a mom, if your mother right. said, I wasn't ready to become a mom, I didn't know what to do when I was pregnant with you, right. I don't think you'd get it. But once no. you're pregnant, once you're a mother yourself, you're like, Oh wait! Yes, I understand this feeling of being totally scared, totally not ready. Right. right, and really, to be honest, you look at your mother as like a shero. Like you're growing up, you're like <laughs> you can do everything. Right, I don't get why I can't do this. And right. so it was a situation where my mom was very honest. <clears throat> she was like, I can't do everything, Dan. Yeah. You know, it, it was scary for me too. So your mom your mom talked about losing her own mother just recently mm -hmm. and how that impacted her life. Mm -hmm. What did what did that mean to you in that conversation? That it was still very brutal and just the fact that she was like now I'm not as busy as I used to be, you know, yeah. taking care of your grandmother and you know, but she said granny left me with such great lessons um, to give you and to give for you to give your children. So she was like I just hold close to those things. That's mm -hmm. really what's important. And it reminds you that you have to make time for her. Because oh, there absolutely. will be a point where you have to deal with that too, absolutely. you know, and how absolutely. hard that's going to be. I keep her very close. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think moms are so understanding, especially of their own children. But I mm -hmm. think there are points where they just don't get what the, what you're doing, right? Yeah. Like my mom will be like, "What in the world?" <laughs> <laughs> like I want to be supportive of you, but I don't understand. Right? Was that there a moment like that for you guys? Yes, there's <laughs> always a moment like that. With us. She's like, "What is this water? Or you ate beef? Why can't they eat beef?" Right, I'm right, like, right. Because mom, we're not eating that anymore. Yeah, we're just, we're just not. Right, and she's. I'm like, well, what about the steel cut oatmeal? Yeah, the brown right, eggs. Right. My mother's like, I don't have any brown eggs. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a situation where she's like, you're way new school, but she calls me forward thinking. I think that's her way of saying it doesn't matter. I'll give them what I want. So um, <laughs> right, but cake at 10 p.m. Yes. Like yes, my she gave my daughter cake at 10 p.m. and she was like, I'm a strict disciplinarian. I'm like, no, no you're not. mom, you just gave her cake. Well, I, I feel like after reading this, your your blog is almost an encouragement to me to say, ask your mom those questions. Yes. Just do it. Just yes. do, what did you get out of it? What would you encourage other moms to do? Well, I would encourage you to sit down with your mother so that you understand her point of view more and so that she understands you and that the two of you can kind of commiserate together and she can, <laughs> sure. empath she can empathize with you. And furthermore, I recorded the conversation so I'll always have it. Um, and so that's really, really important to me to always have that conversation. I encourage everyone to do that. DeAndrea Bevan, thank you so much for being here. Thank we really you appreciate for it. Having Great me. Blog thank as well. you so much. It's